Are you guys there? Hopefully. So sorry. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try this again. You know, I've seen other, I watch a lot of videos and I see other people having issues with um, their videos and I, I'm, I'm thinking, wow, I've been doing this for a couple months. I haven't had any issues. Now all of a sudden I'm starting to have issues so I know how they feel. All right, hang on here. Let me find us in the feed and start this again. So sorry. Are you back, Lori? Hey, Kim, Dawn, Cynthia. All right, let's try this again. Try to get this up. Sorry, Cynthia. We got disconnected for some reason. There I am. Okay. You back, Lori? So sorry, guys. I'm back. I'm back. Can you see me? Yay, Sharon. All right, guys. Thank you for coming back. I am so sorry. I watch so many videos and my with my peers and everybody, you know, has problems from, you know, here and there. And I'm like, oh, I've never had any problems. Now, all of a sudden, I'm having problems. So I'm not sure what it is. I have very good internet. So it can't be my internet. Yay. Hi, Vicki, Sharon, Lori, Cynthia, Dawn. Lisa, are you back? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, boy. Honest to goodness gracious. Glad you're here, Vicki. All right. I see Lori, Vicki, Sharon, Dawn. Let's see. Can you guys see me okay? There we go. Get your comments on. I found me in the feed. Are we good? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Kim, you there? Okay. So let's try this again. It could be Facebook. I don't know. I honestly don't know, but we're going to get this done here, so. All right, let's get you turned down. And see how it looks this way. I'm not going to mess with it. Hey, Betty. All right, can you see me? Let me put a stamp set there. Maybe it's the camo shirt. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so let's try this again. Thank you all for joining me. I am Kelly Wentworth. I am a Stamping Up demonstrator from Kenny Bunk, Maine. Over here at worldofkellycraft.com is my blog. And I want to thank you for joining me. I am going to show you tonight. Um, I have to tell you that um, this set right here, this bundle, and I have the... Where did I put the dies? Hang on a second is turning out to be my favorite set so far. I can't seem to put it down. I absolutely love it. And these dies are gorgeous. And But tonight, what I'm going to do is I am going to show you cards just using the stamp set. So although I am a bundle girl, I like to um, step up my cards and I like to, um, you know, 
embellish them and add to them a more of an avid stamper, I'm going to show you how just to use the stamp set tonight, what beautiful cards you can make. Um, and I'm going to show you those tonight. Now, one thing I want to share with you guys, well, a couple things. The first thing is bonus days are back. And what does that mean? It means that for every $50 that you spend before tax and shipping, Stamping Up is going to reward you with a $5 coupon uh, to use and redeem in August. So, um, you and there's no limit on the amount of coupons. Um, this is also good for stamping demonstrators. Also get the benefit. So, just keep that in mind. We have a new annual catalog that is to die for. So, if you have things in there on your wish list and you want to um, place your orders, just know that uh, you will be getting a coupon for every $50 that you spend. Please make sure you keep that email safe because I don't get your coupon information, okay? So once you place your order, Stamping Up will send you an email uh, code for your coupons. And if you do five of them, you'll get five coupons. Just make sure you keep those safe um, until August because that's when you can redeem them, okay? And what's gonna happen in August? Well, I have in my hands the new mini catalog and look at the just look at the cover even the cover to me is mesmerizing it is beautiful now i can't show you what's inside but what i can tell you is if you're a customer of mine and you've ordered in the last six months you you automatically will be getting one of these sent to you if you are not yet a customer of mine and you want to be, reach out to me privately and I can tell you how you can get your catalog. And um, the, we're going through a transition time. So this catalog is actually starting a month earlier this year. It usually starts in September, but this year the catalog is starting in August. And I think that's why they went to the name Mini. And, and it's actually not so Mini. I can tell you it's a very substantial catalog and it's even more beautiful on the inside. So this is coming. For those of you who have ordered um, with me, you'll be getting this sent later this month. It should be in the next, I'm thinking in the next couple of weeks you should have it, but it goes live on August 3rd. Isn't it beautiful? Do you guys like it? Do you like the cover with all of the stuff in there? And just a reminder, we uh, will, um, Stamping Up actually carried over some items last year from our holiday catalog last year. So we're pretty excited that we've got some stuff from last year that many of you may have already that's already in this catalog, but there's lots of new things too. So there it is. I hope you like it as much as I do. Okay, so let's get started. So we'll start off with this card first. Thank you for the love, guys. I really appreciate it. Love the hearts. Love the thumbs up. So I'm going to give you a visual of the card first. Um, that's what the card looks Oh, I got a little mark on it. I'm not sure what ha how that happened. But I absolutely love the colors we're going to be doing and um, how easy this design is. Okay? So I'm using Gorgeous Grape and Whisper White, and that's all I'm using on this. Okay? And we're going to start off with the Whisper White. I will leave this hopefully in the camera so you can see it. Let me see if I can do it that way. Can you guys see that okay? <clears throat> you see that all right? Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm using Gorgeous Grape. Coastal Cabana. And Granny Apple Green. So these are the three colors that I'm using on this card. Very, very pretty. Okay. So we're going to start out, and I'm using that stamp set. And I'm using this big leaf first. So I personally find that if you are doing a card like this where you're doing multiple um, stamps, you probably want to start with the biggest one first. That's just my thought. I guess there's no right or wrong on that. 
Okay, so we're gonna do, you guys see me doing this okay? I love these colors, Lori. I just think it's so pretty. That up there. Oh, you know what I did wrong? Hang on. There's one thing I wanted to tell you and then I turned around and didn't do it. The first thing you should do if you're doing a card like this also is actually do the saying because you want to uh, stamp around the saying. So I'm going to stamp my saying in there right now before I get going. And I'm going to use the thanks a bunch. And I'm doing that in the gorgeous grape. Oh my God, that's so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. All right. And then I'm going to do one more leaf, I think, just down here in the in the corner. There, we'll do that. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to clean my stamps as I go because I'm using these mostly um, th for all three cards. So I want to make sure I'm not getting ink on anything. So let me clean that. Okay, and then the next color I'm going to use is the Granny Apple Green. This is, to me, this is a simple card, but yet very, very pretty. And I'm going to use this stamp, which is the tall leaf, but the narrower one. And I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to kind of go maybe there. I'm going to do one over here. You guys see that okay? <clears throat> and I think I'm going to do another one over here. Now, this stamp set. It doesn't, I looked at it when I was playing with it um, this past week. It doesn't say distinctive, but to me, it's got distinctive um, stamps, it seems like to me. Does it look distinctive to you? I think it does. I don't know, maybe it is and it just doesn't say it. And then the last one I'm going to do are these, and I'm not sure if you call those grapes or berries. And we're going to do that in the gorgeous grape. And you're just going to kind of go. And the reason why I say it looks like it's distinctive, because if you look at my card, I kind of go over on some of these, and yet it's fine. You know what I'm saying? And distinctive, it's, it's almost like a watercolor type. So we're going to do, let's see, I'm going to do grapes there or berries there. I'm going to do one there. And then I think I'm going to do one there. Oh, went over my word. Darn it. What do you think? I got to get a wipey. I've got ink on my fingers before I get it on my card. Hang on. <clears throat> I got a little close to the saying. <clears throat> it's what you don't want to do. But you get the drift. And then I'm using Gorgeous Grape as the card base. And you just want to burnish. And it's just your standard five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And all I did on this one was glue down the top. What do you think of the colors? And then what I did was I took some bling as I typically do and I'm using one of my blends 
and I colored in the blends and I'm using I think this is uh, Bermuda Bay and you know you can do this with any color to match a card you love the color Sharon and then you just kind of put those whoops wherever you see fit I never really put them always in the same spot so it doesn't really matter yeah coloring the bling because you can make it work for any card any color use your blends and that is card number one what do you think do you like it I love the colors I love this set. I'm telling you right now, this set is beautiful. Okay, so there's card number one. Now, card number two, I'm going to use, I'm going to do a little technique with you. Okay. And let me show you card number two. Oh, I got a little bling bling. Hang on. This is card number two. And kind of staying with the same theme. This one I used Bermuda Bay. No, excuse me, uh, Coastal Cabana um, card base, but then I used um, Bermuda Bay for the actual sponging. So I'm going to do a little sponging and I'm going to show you a technique that's really simple that you can do really with any card any kind of card so let me show you this all right so let me get that out of the way get the pieces so the pieces are coastal cabana card base thank you sharon thank you kim and gorgeous grape is three and three quarter by five and the whisper white is three and a half by four and three quarters. So essentially it will get going like this and then like this, okay? So we're gonna use the white first and do the sponging. And I'm gonna show you how to do that with, I'm using long sticky notes, okay? And if you have grid paper, it's really good to use grid paper because then you can use your grids on your paper to make sure you're kind of as even as can be. So let me see if I can line this up. And we'll do it. Let's see. And then I'm going to use, so I'm going to use two sticky notes. All right. You see what I'm doing here? And then I'm going to use my Bermuda Bay sponge. Now these sponges come in a three pack. I actually have some right here. And they're really, I don't, I, I, they're very inexpensive. I don't remember if they're like $4 or something like that. They're, they're not very expensive. But um, when I get them, I cut them um, half and then quarter um, like this. So this is like, I do them in quarters. So you get a lot more out of your sponges. And you can use those for sponging and then just put a little um, tab on the top and then you can reuse it over and over and over again. So a really wise investment for, for uh, techniques like this. And I'm going to use my Bermuda Bay. And I'm using the Bermuda Bay because I'm using Coastal Cabanas a little bit lighter. So, um, and you're just going to 
sponge up your sponge, get some ink on it. And the whole idea of this is to, I'm going to start at the bottom, okay? And I'm going to start off the paper. Whenever you're sponging, you want to start off the paper because you don't want to get big globs, if you can help it, of ink on your project, okay? So you kind of go off the paper like this and then work your way up, okay, like this. And then you can go back again and you can start off the paper and I want the bottom part I want the bottom darker than the top okay can you guys see this okay and I'm gonna go a little bit darker down here on the bottom okay and that's really all there is to it. So let's see what the end result is. You take your paper off, your little sticky notes, and voila. What do you think? What do you think of that? And that's really all there is to getting that design on that card. Okay, so then we're going to go back to the Coastal Cabana. And I'm going to use the Gorgeous Grape. Okay, and I'm going to use the Coastal Cabana first. And I'm going to use the, again, I'm going to use the biggest um, leaf that's in the set. And I'm just going to start putting this there, and I'll do it there. And I am going to do one of these, I think I'm going to use one of those in the center. Not sure I did on the other one, but I think I'm going to try that. And I'll go okay. And then it's time to use the berries again with the gorgeous grape. that. Let me get this clean. I absolutely love these colors, guys. <clears throat> okay. And then you can put your Sentiment. Now, on this one, I did to a friend that makes me smile. So, I'm not sure who I'm going to give this card to. Um, let me think what I need here. Maybe, hang on. I'm going to use the same one and I'm going to use the gorgeous grape again and I'm going to put that in the upper right hand corner and then on this one What I did, let me, so then let me get my wipey here, inky fingers. Uh, 
All right. So there's that. So I love these colors together, guys. I was having a lot of fun putting these together. There's that. Now you could put it up on dimensionals if you want more uh, dimension on it. Um, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna stick it down here. I'm gonna stick that in the center. And then on this one, I used one of the dies for the leaf. And that is this leaf right here, which I think is so pretty out of this set. Like I said, I, I've used this set a lot. I absolutely love, love the set. And I am going to use just a glue dot to put that down at the, below the, uh, the flowers or the leaves. Like that. And then I'm using, where is my ribbon? This is the Whisper White, the Crinkle Ribbon. This is really, really easy to work with ribbon. You like it, Lori? It's gonna, and you don't really want an oversized bow on this because it's gonna go at the bottom of the, of the card. And you don't have to put one on, I guess, if you don't want to. I just think it's cute. And I'm going to use a glue dot again to put that down. And then I'm just going to center that right there. And there's card number two. What do you think? I think it's pretty. I love it. And not, this is not difficult, guys. Even doing a little bit of sponging just adds a little something something to it. And you can do that in any form, really. Um, but again, I just love the colors. I just think it's really pretty. And that's just using the stamp set. Um, I hope you like it. I think it's very pretty. Okay. Are you ready for card number three? I hope you're liking them. I hope you will try them. Okay, card number three. Along the same ideas, but a different design. <clears throat> and this one is using Granny Apple as the background, as the base. Gorgeous Grape again, and then Whisper White, but you're actually cutting it and giving it a little, um, I don't know, I guess. So again, standard card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Three and three quarters by five for your purple, gorgeous grape. And then your white is three and a half by four and three quarters. And that's what we're gonna start with. Is doing, now, some people, because they're gonna, it's, I'm gonna be cutting it, some people will cut it first, piece it together and then try to stamp over it. Other people will just stamp the item and then cut it. That's the way I prefer to do it. Stamp first, cut after, but you can do it either way you want. Okay, so on this one, again, we're using Granny Apple Green, 
and we're going to use Coastal Cabana. Now you can change these colors up. I really like the color, so I just kind of stuck with it. So on this one, I'm going to start out with my biggest uh, leaf first. I'm going to do that one. And let me put this in the middle so you can see it. There. Okay. Can you guys see that okay? That, like that. That's the card I'm making. Now, I want to make sure when I do this, this leaf, this tall one right here, that I not only get in the middle, but I get over on that left panel, okay, on the panel on the left, because it's going to get cut, don't forget. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're stamping, okay, because you want it in the middle, but you want it to go over as well. So hopefully it does. Okay. And then I'm going to use the Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to come up this way. I'm going to go out. And this one will go on the third panel. Yeah, it, it, I mean, I, I would be afraid, I don't know. I, I don't have luck with card pieces not moving. So for me, it works just to, you know, do your stamping first and then, do, then cut after. And I think I'm gonna do, um, I don't think I did it over there. I might just do, um, no, I'm not going to do any more. I'm going to leave it as I did it. Okay. And then the last one is the berries in the gorgeous grape. And I'm going to use that. And I kind of want to get... And this is where I'm saying, like, I'm going to be stamping over some of this, and yet it works really well doing it that way. And I think I'm going to go a little bit like that. I mean, there's no right or wrong. You can do it any way you want. But you get the idea. Okay, and on this one, okay, where's my, hang on, let me get these cleaned. All right, I might as well do my hello here. And I'm just going to do that on a scrap. Eh, don't look too bad. Yeah, I'm going to turn it over. Looks a little crooked. Oh, that's better. Okay, and I am going to use our new, let me see what I did with it. We have a new punch, and I think I showed it in my product share here. I am loving it because you can do, it's like having six different punches. You can, um, there's three different sizes in the slots that you can put your paper in, and there's two different kinds of tops to use. So, <clears throat> it's a very versatile set. So, let me get this in here. Let me see. And 
and I think I need to cut a little bit off of this one. And again, I'm just looking at the bottom, trying to center it as best I can and see how it looks on there. Oh, too long. Still need to cut more off. Can you guys see this okay? I'm just trying to... Okay, it's a little bit longer than the other one, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna use the, the same design, but a bigger piece to layer this on. And that's what I like about this punch is it's got the three different sizes. So I wanted to kind of show that to you guys. And you just kind of stick it in. It's a little bit longer than I wanted it. Look, hang on. make it a little bit shorter said my video ended it's working on my end guys can you guys see me Are you got can you guys see me okay you can Oh, few. Okay, because I was going to say, it's going on my end. Oh, good. Okay, sorry, Lisa. It must be on your end, hon. Oh, good. Okay. So, do you guys... This is why I like a punch like this. It makes it so that you can do different colors, different sizes... thought I messed up. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I turned it over. Now on this, I probably, I am going to put dimensionals on it when I put it on the card. So let's get the card together. And oh, wait a minute. I've got to cut it. So I'm going to get my cutter. And I'm going to go, I think, one and a half. Hopefully that'll look, I think that's what I did. And that's really all you do is just cut it. One and a half strips. So you just cut it twice. And then... Making sure you have it in the right order helps. All right. How's that look? So you leave a little bit of space. Oh, I'm gonna cut a little bit off on the end here, just a smidgen. See if that and then you place it in there like a puzzle and if you like it then you glue it down that looks good similar to that one Just want to leave a little bit of a border 
on the outside and the inside just because it makes it, I think, look better. Okay, there's two. And three. Oh yeah, that looks better. What do you think? All right, then once you have it placed, and you put it on your base, and I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna glue it down because I'm going to use dimensionals on the saying, on the sentiment. Okay, but your choice if you make it. And again, this is just using the stamp set. Oh my goodness, I just think it's so pretty. And I need dimensionals. And I would just put it, and there you go. Card number three. Do you like it? Let's see if I can get all three cards in. Oh my. I love this set. Kim, you will love this set. I know this is on your wish list. I just think it's stunning. I think it's beautiful. And, you know, it, there's so much you can do with this set. I mean, think about it at Christmas time. If you wanted to put, do, um, you know, sparkle branches or really make them red or make them, you know, do them up, do the berries in... Um, Cherry cobbler, um, you know, poinsettias or something like that. I mean, you can really probably use this all year long. I just think it's so pretty and um, I'm loving it. I really am loving it. And I hope you all enjoyed them. I'm glad you like them, Cynthia. Now I'm going to, um, when I'm done, I will post the video on my business page and um probably my blog and my group page. And on my group page, if you make the cards, I would love for you to post them. And you don't have to do the same colors or the exact same design. They're very simple to make. You can change it up and do different colors, but I would love to see what you do. And because I really want to see your designs as well, because that just makes my heart happy. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Kim. Let me get you guys back up here. Hold on. Hey. Thank you, Sharon, for joining. I hope you enjoyed the cards. I hope you have a chance to make them. And the rest of you as well. And like I said, if you make them, please post them on my group page. And uh, again, I appreciate it if you share this video and let other people see it. And maybe they'll want to make it too. And I really appreciate all your support, guys. I hope you have a great week. Thank you, Lori. Thank you for joining. Have a good night, everyone.